Hello you guys, welcome to the start of this vlog. So I was talking while I was out on my balcony and doing this potting, but the AC was super loud outside, so I'm just gonna do a voiceover instead. So what I'm doing right now is propagating my Passiflora vine. Over time, I've kind of figured out that a good way for me to propagate this plant is to just take one leaf cuttings and then stick them directly in the soil. And then I pretty much just keep the soil moist and keep them under high humidity until they grow roots and grow a new leaf. And that's pretty much it. I wanted to propagate this plant to maybe sell on my Etsy shop because it's just such a beautiful plant and it's fairly easy to grow. And it's difficult to find this online, like I can't really find anywhere that sells this Passiflora. And then I brought in some of my favorite plants that are out on the balcony because today is super hot, like 96 to 100 degrees, and I'm not sure if they can handle the hot hot direct sun so i brought in my dioscoria elephantips and my dorstenia gigas <laughs> what are y'all doing <laughs> Something sad kind of happened uh, about two days ago. So Chris knocked over this pot that I just got that is like so, so pretty. Um, and yeah, it fell over and it cracked. And it's not really his fault because I put it in like a really bad spot in our bedroom. But luckily it broke in pretty large pieces. So I am able to glue it back together for the most part. I'm using epoxy to seal the pot back together. And yeah, I mean, it's kind of sad that it broke, but there's nothing that can be done now, and now it's sort of unique. I'm looking on the bright side. <laughs> I got this pot from a ceramic shop in Los Angeles called Sanso. I've glued all the pieces together with the epoxy. It's pretty good for the most part. Just this back portion doesn't really fit together perfectly because I probably messed up when gluing something, but that's okay because I'll just keep it facing this way so the back won't be visible. <laughs> this is the plant that I'm planning to pot in this pot. I waited for the pot to dry and then I potted my variegated money tree in it and I think it looks pretty good. Um, I have a few more pots that I got from Sanso and luckily they are not cracked. I have to keep these away from Chris. So I'm getting ready to go to the nursery right now with Megan and Vicky, and Chris is gonna stay home with Theo and record his video for his YouTube channel. Yeah, hopefully Theo's good. I wanted to show you guys my peas that I have growing on my balcony. They are putting out some pods. Those are the pea pods, and then those are the flowers. And it's climbing up the trellis pretty well, but I think it might be too hot for this plant, because um, it's like 90 something degrees right now. What you doing, Theo? So, quick balcony update. It's looking good. Um, not much has changed yet, but hopefully I'll get some type of vining plant at the nursery when I go today. I tried to get Theo to come inside, but I think he's enjoying the, the weather out there right now. <laughs> oh, now you want to come in? Okay, come on. <laughs> Theo is eating my peas. Yes! <laughs> my outfit to the nursery and then Chris's outfit for his video. <laughs> oh, I might get strawberries. Megan, Vicky, and I went to Yamaguchi Nursery, which is pretty much like the only nursery I go to now. And I got this wisteria plant and it is like flying outside of the car because it didn't fit. And then they came back to my apartment and they hung out and they played with Theo. And Vicky picked these loquats from a tree that's outside of my apartment in my neighborhood. And she's kind of into foraging, so yeah, they tasted really good too. And Theo had a good time getting a lot of attention. And then I gave Megan and Vicky two small rooted cuttings of my Passiflora vine because I think it would grow really well in their apartments. 
I'm back home now from the nursery with Megan and Vicky. I got a wisteria vine to climb on my trellis, which I will show you guys very shortly. And then I got a big bag of pumice just to add as a soil amendment for my plants. And then I also got a pot and a small strawberry plant. My friend Kyle gave me some cuttings of a vining plant called Virginia creeper that I'm gonna try and grow on my balcony, but we'll see how that works out. These are the cuttings of the Virginia creeper. I need to do something with them. I'm not sure how to propagate them, so they're just sitting in water until I look up how to propagate this plant. Here's the wisteria. I'm gonna move it into that spot and then just have it climb up this trellis. Um, I think it's gonna look pretty nice. I am editing this video right now, but I thought I would just give you guys an update. The wisteria is growing pretty well. It's climbing up the trellis and I think it's gonna look really nice once it fills out. The strawberry plant is doing well. The only thing is that the strawberries don't taste that good, but they are very cute. The front of my parents' house is covered in these really pretty purple oxalis. And then there's this tiger and frog in front that my dad put out. And he said that the tiger is protecting the frog. And they've been there for around five years now. And it's really cute because my dad says that he's the tiger and then he's protecting the frog princess, which is my mom. And then frogs are also my mom's favorite animals. So yeah, it's just very cute. I brought Theo out into my dad's garden and there are a ton of really pretty flowers in bloom right now. And then I brought Einstein and Skittles out too so Theo could play with them and it was just really nice to see them all like interacting with each other and being friends and hanging out. Um, Einstein and Skittles are my childhood dogs and Theo is the first dog that I've owned like in my adulthood so just them being able to be friends and go on walks together and play and interact with each other just makes me so, so happy. I got back from my parents' house yesterday and then I didn't really film that much. Chris and I went to go watch a movie. Uh, we watched everything, everywhere, all at once and it was so 
so good. I haven't really enjoyed a movie like that in a while. Um, it was just so unexpected and overall like amazing. So if you are wanting to watch a movie, I definitely recommend checking that out. Also, I got a haircut. I think I included it in the vlog, but my mom's been the only person to cut my hair since I was like six. It was just nice to see my parents, um, even though I was just there for a day. Also to see my dogs and my brother. I'm going to go to Florida with Chris uh, to visit his family for Easter. So I just wanted to make sure I saw my family, even if it was just for a day, because I don't know when I'll be free next. Also, while I was at home, I found this old camcorder that my parents used to use all the time to uh, take home videos and stuff. So. I think I'm gonna use this for some clips sometimes because, I don't know, it's just like extremely nostalgic and it's pretty fun to use. It works pretty well and it even has a flippy screen, which is kind of cool. I think I might take this with me to Florida and just record something small and like make a little montage thing. Right now it's like crazy, crazy windy outside. I was worried about some of my plants and my lanterns on the balcony, but they seem to be okay and they're just really like flying in the wind and stuff, but nothing has fallen over or anything. What else? What else? Oh, so right now Chris is editing his YouTube video. He's working on a second YouTube video for his channel. When he was editing his first video, he had to ask me a bunch of questions, just like how to edit in general, because he hasn't edited before, but for the second video, he's doing most of it on his own. So that's pretty cool. I completely forgot to film an outro, so the rest of the day we pretty much just played with Theo because we are going to Florida tomorrow, so we wanted to spend time with him. He is staying at Chris's cousin's house. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you later. Goodbye! Hey there!